Hey guys, it's your favorite Unc here. Go ahead and click that subscribe button below so you don't miss a single episode of Nightcap. That button right here. Come for the sports, stay for the stories. Uh, Ocho Malcolm Butler announces his retirement from the NFL. The former undrafted rookie, Butler spent seven active seasons in the NFL. He went into NFL lore, making the greatest defensive play in NFL history. He picked off a pass in the end zone that won Super Bowl 48. Yeah. With two, no, 49. 49. Super Bowl 49. They won 48 against the Broncos. And then they went back 40. Uh, 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 no, yeah, 49. Yeah. They mm -hmm. ended and they ended up uh, uh, winning that game off that great interception. Uh, Tom Brady led a comeback, uh, and they ended up winning what 27 24, something like that. But mm -hmm. anyway, he won two Super Bowls in, in uh, during his fourth season with New England. And episode nine of the dynasty has new details from New England Patriots owner Robert Kraft about Malcolm Butler, infamous Super Bowl benching. Mm -hmm. Kraft said, What he what he told me is there was something personal going on between Bill and Malcolm, mm. and that was not football-related. I always felt that every decision Bill had made, had been he had been put, was the best interest of the team, first and foremost, and put emotion aside. But with Malcolm, he did just the opposite. Butler says he wants to write movie scripts and possibly get into stand-up comedy. Mm. Butler plans to write a book about his rise from undrafted rookie the Super Bowl hero. That'd be dope. And he had he, he has a good story. He has a great story. I'm sure great story. He had, he had some great stories to tell. Obviously, the obstacles it took for him to go undrafted and get to the Super Bowl with the Patriots, and then the turmoil, turmoil, the benching, and some things going on personally between him and Belichick to to bench someone, especially mm -hmm. of his caliber, during that time. Again, I think a little arrogance might have might have played a part in that of as course. well. Yeah, it played a part in that as well. But um, well, you see it play out with the Brady situation, so you clearly, yeah, yeah, yeah. And but um, you think I, about I this, like, Ocho. I like, I like, I like Malcolm, man. He, he as a good. as an undrafted rookie, you get thrust in the Super Bowl because mm -hmm. the starting corner is getting toasted. Yeah. Hey, right. Butler, Malcolm, you up? <laughs> up what? No, go in there. Yeah. And get it done. You see the arrogance? Now, this is where the arrogance is coming from Coach Belichick. Right. An undrafted rookie, he plays, I put him in the game. So at this point in time, I start to feel I can do no wrong, Ocho. Mm -hmm. You see how that go, Ocho? I yeah. feel I can do no wrong. I can put anybody, I can. It's like Minority Report. Mm -hmm. You slide stuff all over the board, yep. and it works. Every time. Everything. I just thought something because I remember that I remember that Super Bowl. It was in Minnesota because, uh, as a matter of fact, me and my brother was there. We had a couple appearances together. Uh, it was cold as hell, mm -hmm. but I saw something. I saw Coach Belichick at a basketball game. I said I don't remember at any of the other Super uh, Super Bowls ever seeing Coach Belichick out at an event. Right now, maybe he was arrogance. Maybe he believed that his team was so superior they couldn't possibly lose. But you know, in football, it's not a series. It's one game. One game. And so I just I just saw some things that I'm like, well, damn, Coach Belichick, because Coach Belichick, you were around him, he's normally extremely tight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He seemed really, really relaxed. He was out. I'm like, well, damn, Coach Belichick out of the game? It was early, it was okay. early in the week, too, wasn't it? It was early in the week, too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I was like, okay. But that's the greatest defensive play in NFL history. Mm -hmm. Um he doesn't make that play. Maybe Tom has another, maybe I right, the Seattle scores, who knows? Yeah. Maybe Tom gets a game. Maybe Tom has to lead another historic drive. We'll never know. Right. But I feel comfortable in saying it's the greatest defensive play that I've seen. Now, maybe some defensive plays happened way back then, but given the magnitude of the moment, given the magnitude of the game, it's going to be hard-pressed for me to, for someone to say there's been another defensive play mm -hmm. because we know how much emphasis is placed on Super Bowls. Now, right. maybe there was one of the NFL championship, which is the equivalent of a Super Bowl because there was no Super Bowls back then, Ocho. But what I've been able to witness with my own eyes, that's the greatest defensive play that I've ever yeah. seen. Most definitely. And uh, based on it's going to be – 
based on situation and circumstance, it, it definitely is. I'm I'm sure I'm not sure how people can really argue the fact about that play because of the circumstance. Uh, this one play is the reason you won the Super Bowl. Well, people in Pittsburgh might say, well, James Harrison interception of Arizona with the 100-yard return in oh, the end zone when he picked up Kurt Warner. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, but I, I think Malcolm had an unbelievable career. If somebody would have told him, he made more money than he ever would. He parlayed, and he played well. I think he went to a couple of Pro Bowls, um, <laughs> got a big, got a payday from um, uh, um, Tennessee. 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 Yeah. Um, he got a new he got a truck because Brady was the MVP. He ended up giving the truck to Malcolm. Uh hopefully he keeps it. But I don't know. I, I, I mean I, I, I hope he kept it. I still be driving it to this day. Yeah. A I mean, time? but it's, but you know it's worth something because man, this is the truck Tom Brady was oh, the yeah. MVP. Oh yeah. You hold on to that now. You hold yeah, on to that. Because you know hold anything Tom Brady, any hey. jersey, any helmet, anything yeah. Tom Brady, a card. Hey, you keep keep the miles low on there. Keep oh, yeah. the miles low on there. Hold on to it for about 10 I'd, minutes. I'd, I'd, uh, Ocho, I'd put that thing in the garage and never drove it. it. I'd have never drove it. Yeah, that'd be a good one. That's going to be worth oh, yeah. a lot down the line. 